Hello, could you state, start by stating your name <laughs> and classification? My name is Miles Wilder. I'm a freshman here at A&T. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah. And my major, my, my fault. My major is Urban and Community Horticulture. So Miles, do you watch any sports? I, I do. I like, I like watching uh, what's the, like the highlight, highlight reels. Um, more so, I like to be wild instead of like really paying attention to the game itself. Uh, so like the real crazy moments, the crossovers, the tackles and stuff like that. That's what I like to watch instead of spending three hours watching them. What's your favorite sport in golf? Um, my favorite sport would have to be... That's a good question. That's a good question. I would, I would say my favorite sport is... Um, I say, I say, I say, football would be my favorite sport. College or professional? Um, college. Um, I say college because you know when it's when it's time for the draft to come around, you know that's always exciting to see who gets picked up. You know, um, you get to see see them grow through the seasons and whatnot. And you know, most of the time, you you know somebody that's playing for the college team. So that's, that's why I like college football. Do you have a favorite team? Um, a favorite college team right now? Nah. Mm, yeah, I do. My fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, I'm pretty sure UC, UCF is my, uh, my favorite college team right now. Just because I know somebody on the team and, you know, they ended up, they got drafted uh, to the NFL, so that's, that's real cool. That's real cool. I'm proud of him, you know, so. So you don't root for any of the home teams? Uh, I, I, like, I like Carolina, you know, Carolina cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. You no know, NC State, they're Yeah, I, I know, uh, I'm not really a fan of NC State, just because I grew up on Carolina. You know, my folks, that's what, that's what they're about, so that's what I'm about. I mean, I'm pretty sure they did, they did okay, but I'm more of a Carolina fan. So did you play any sports yourself as a child? Uh, I, did not, I didn't play any sports, like, on a, on a team. But in the neighborhood, you know, we would play uh, football, basketball. Uh, we, would, we would play soccer a lot. You know, it's a lot of Hispanics in my neighborhood. It's a fun game, kickball. Uh, some people be out there boxing. I mean, that's a sport. So we we played we played it all in the neighborhood, but I never played on the team, like on an organized organized team. Are there any activities that you consider to be a sport that most people do not? I consider cheerleading and tumbling to be a sport, one thousand percent. Because, first of all, it takes a lot of skill to be doing no hand somersaults and doing like triple back flips and whatnot. Um, tumbling, that's basically the same thing without the cheer uniform. And so it, it, takes, a lot of, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of, uh, you have to have a lot of determination to be able to stick those landings, you know, so. That's definitely a sport. People should be getting scholarships for that. Do you have a favorite sports movie? Um, my favorite sports movie would have to be. That's a good one. It's a lot of sports movies out. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a movie fan in general, so I mean, there's there's movies like um. Like low key, like the game plan with The Rock and Madison and Madison Payton. Um, that's a, that's a good movie, just because it it gave you the sports and it gave you the life outside of the sports. And I'm I'm a big fan on on people as a as a I'm 
a big fan of people. I um, there's also movies like what's that movie called? Um, like Mike with little um, Shad Moss or whatever. Uh, that movie, like movies like that. That's those are sports movies I like. Um, they give you a story to what they're what they're doing and what they're talking about. Um, and like Mike is a classic, so that's a wonderful movie. So, if you could be any athlete in the world, professional or otherwise, who would you be and why? I would be. So I would be. I would be Tiger Woods, um, because golf is a safe sport. I'm not taking no blows to the body, to the head, to the brain. Not worrying about no brain damage 40 years down the line. So I would, I would play golf, keep it safe, and cash my checks. So you mentioned keeping it safe. So would you, do you currently participate in any sports? I, I do not participate in any sports. Um, I have a, a, a height deficiency. So uh, really not tall enough to be playing on anybody's team. But it's okay, because once I hit this growth spurt, we might, we might can talk. Okay, so other than uh, having problems with keeping the sports safe, are there anything, is there anything that you enjoy most about athletics? Um, well, as far as a, as a whole, I like athletics as a way of uh, giving people a break from reality, you know, um, you always, sports are meant to entertain people and that's what they do. As, as far as you got food, uh, like I'm saying, like you have food being served, you got drinks being served, you have the sports itself, people like to pay attention to that. If you're doing college, you most likely got the band playing. You got the uh, the cheerleaders dancing, the the like the band dancers. They doing their thing. So it's it's all as far as athletics as a whole. I like I like the show that they provide. Um, as far as uh, if we're narrowing down on the af athletes itself, uh, the, the the determination that they have to come out every week or multiple times a week to play their game and do what they what they love to do is also something nice to watch and pay attention to. So are there any sports that you wish a and offered? Men's volleyball. Volleyball is a wonderful sport. I like to play it. It's fun. You know, um, if they had a men's volleyball team, I would definitely try out because that's, they need some love. They need some love. Men's volleyball is cool. What position would you play? Uh, I'd probably be like the server. You know, I got a little arm on me, you know, so I could be able to hit it like I'm supposed to, make it go where it's supposed to go. Uh, I wouldn't be like, I don't know what it's called, but like when you ride on the net, I'm too short. Like, that's not, that's not the spot for me. So they'd probably be spiking it, spiking it down on me all the time. I wouldn't be able to do nothing about it. So I'll, I'll be a server. Okay, moving on a little bit to sports fashion, are there any type of jerseys that you like to see, whether that's hockey, football, baseball, or otherwise? Jer man, jerseys are, are fashion statements in itself. Uh, I think hockey jerseys are really cool, uh, just the way they look. Like, they like baggy, but they fit, because they got to like go over like the pads and stuff, or like uh, hockey jerseys. Soccer jerseys are tight because like they like t-shirts kind of. Um, those are cool. And then you got like as far as like the hip hop or whatever uh, fashion, you got like the basketball jerseys and the football jerseys is cool. Like FUBU, they was doing their things with the jerseys and you see other fashion brands doing their thing with jerseys. So uh, and you know like Adidas, Nike, like they their sports wear. But like you see that um, being incorporated into modern day fashion, so sports is really sports where it's really taking over. Do you think having a nice jersey is essential towards being a good team? 
Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, I feel like, well, you could, that's a, that's a good question. I, I, I would say, I would say no, but it, it would definitely, having nice jerseys and cool helmets would definitely get you the looks that like, that you want. So if you, if you pop in without, without the gear, you know, and you get the, you get the gear, you get the looks, and then they seeing you for what you're worth, and then that could, that could definitely take you places. So I think investing in good, good, uh, good equipment and having uh, good designers for your jerseys and helmets is definitely a plus, but it's, I wouldn't say it's a necessity. Thank you, Miles, for doing this interview today. Are there any last comments that you would like to make? Um, well, you know, pray for me. It's finals week. And, uh, I, need, I need all the, the prayers and luck I can get because uh, I'm trying to come back next semester. You feel me?